Hello everyone and welcome to another new review and this one going to be on the pilot episode of Gotham the new series that is getting aired on Fox and I just watched the pilot and it was just amazing now before I go deeper to this review I want to say that there's spoilers in this review but first I'm just going to be talking about the you know main or the just outer layer things that happened in the episode and what do I think about it generally and basically the episode was just great you know uh, I had the goosebumps starting you know since the start uh, it was just pretty good the acting was amazing the scenes that they showed us were just great you know uh, the uh, shots that were taken from the helicopter uh, I think they have been done in a pretty good way they even you know added these few stuff all these few statues that you could uh, always see in the comic books uh, to Gotham so it could feel like it's really Gotham the Gotham that we always see in the comic books so I thought that was uh, you know amazing uh, James Gordon was amazing as well you know the actor who's doing it uh, who's doing James is just pretty good at it uh, I kind of felt like he was uh, the same James Gordon that we saw in Batman Dark Knight Return, I think so. It was no wait. Uh, I think so. It was like uh, Batman Year One. Yeah, it was from Batman Year One, uh, the uh, movie, the animated movie. I thought like he was like that kid, you know, like that rookie uh, detective. And then we got Bullock on the other hand, this corrupted uh, detective. You know, we don't know why he's with them. Why did he team up with these people? But there's something going on and I'm gonna talk more about it in the uh, spoiler review which is gonna be after this in a while and um, you know we got a lot of uh, names that got dropped you know first we got Catwoman we got uh, the Riddler we got Penguin we got Falcone uh, I don't know Poison Ivy we got Poison Ivy and uh, I think that was uh, pretty much for the names yeah I think that was uh, pretty much for the names but you know generally the episode was just great if I'm gonna rate it I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 at least you know uh, go ahead and check it out I think you're gonna love it you're gonna love the series because they're gonna show you how these villains became uh, the villains they are right now what it draw, uh, drove them to that point to become these uh, in Batman universe and um, you know how James Gordon got to Gotham, how he became the man he is right now, how he became the commissioner that we know. I think this series is going to be just amazing. Uh, the main plot of this uh, season, I think so, is going to be two things. The crime that is coming to Gotham and uh, finding the, the real killer uh, who killed uh, you know, the parents of Bruce Wayne. And I don't think this is any kind of spoiler because we all know what's going to happen in the episode. But that's pretty much for the review without the spoiler review and right now I'm gonna do with the spoiler ones so if you don't want to listen to it just stop right there and leave with a like maybe I would really appreciate it and maybe a share so yeah spoiler review right now and let's start our spoiler review and I'm gonna start it up with what actually happened in the first you know few minutes of you know the pilot of Gotham and you know they started off the episode with Catwoman which was pretty awesome because we saw that she you know is this thief right now even though she's so young but she know how to steal stuff you know she took care of a cat which was herself you know they were sticking to who was Catwoman when she was young which was pretty cool and that's where the big thing happened which I wasn't really expecting she witnessed the murder of uh, you know Tom Swain and Martha you know the uh, parents of Bruce Wayne which was pretty amazing and of course I got the goosebumps at that moment you know uh, the scream everything was just great about it uh, the alley it, it was just done in a beautiful way uh, you know they captured Gotham uh, exactly the way we see it in in the comic books which was just amazing and beautiful uh, later on of course you saw James Gordon you know taking care of stuff in the GCDP you know uh, the usual stuff he do you know he do it on his own way on his own terms uh, he's not like Bullock or the other detectives or officers you know he has his own way of dealing with stuff um, later on so he got notified about the uh, death 
uh, of uh, you know the parents of Bruce Wayne and that's where he spoke to Bruce Wayne which was amazing you know uh, he started to talk to him and that was the first uh, you know encounter with each other that was the first meeting with each other James Garden and you know Bruce Wayne and that's where James uh, told him about his past about how his father died you know I, I was absolutely amazed by the story that he you know told Bruce Wayne he wanted to ease his pain and that's where we saw that uh, you know Bullock is not really happy with uh, you know James Garden there's some stuff that he doesn't like about him he might cause him some trouble in the city that's why he wanted him to shift you know transfer to a different unit or something but that's where uh, you know the captain actually refused and he stuck with him and that's where uh, we got the first appearance of a second villain uh, which is called Nigma aka the Riddler and we already saw him you know trying to riddle some stuff to James Gordon but that's where Pollock kind of stopped him and uh, that's where we you know so that he uh, told James Gordon and Pollock about the pistol that killed uh, you know Bruce Wayne's parents and uh, that's where they wanted to trace it back and to look into wit so there is one person who could help them out in this uh, you know event and it was fish mooney and that's where we saw fish mooney and the penguin their appearance was good as well you know uh, we saw the penguin going all crazy we saw fish mooney had this relationship with bullock you know there's this uh, work relationship and there's this you know social uh, you know relationship between each other they are really close to each other and that's where james gordon you know kind of felt it wasn't right especially with a crime person like her a, cl a crime lord uh, no i can't call her crime lord but you know, you know you get the meaning and she was evil you know she really uh, knew how to represent an evil person and uh, that's where they got uh, some you know news about uh, the killer but before that we saw barbara uh, you know james garden uh, girlfriend or a fiance uh, no wait yeah James Gordon girlfriend I think they are engaged I'm not sure but I think they are yeah and uh, you know she's hiding some stuff from James Gordon there are stuff that he doesn't know uh, you know one of the MCU I think so it was called uh, she's a woman as well but I can't really remember her name you know she came up to her and she was like you know you do trust James but do you, does he trust you does he know everything about you so I was like okay now there's something behind her which is pretty cool and uh, that's where actually you know she told James Gordon girlfriend about uh, the leak that happened or the uh, framing that happened and uh, you know basically they heard some news that there's this guy who is called Mario something and that Mario person who uh, was the father of Poison Ivy and he was framed for the killing of uh, Bruce Wayne's parents and that's where we saw that James Gordon and Bullock came after him but uh, instead of capturing him they kind of killed him and uh, that's where James Gordon realized that he killed an innocent person who had nothing to do with it that's where his girlfriend actually told him about the framing thing and he wanted to dig deeper and see what is it all about and uh, that's where he found out that you know there's a leak and that's where he went to fish mooney he wanted to talk to her and he wanted to get some information about uh, you know the real killer because he figured out that fish mooney is covering up for falcon or the real killer you know and uh, that's where he got himself captured uh you know he just got captured by the boys of uh, fish mooney he couldn't really escape that's where we saw that bullet came after him he asked fish mooney to release him but you know she did the opposite she told him just kill all of them i don't care about them and that's what happened you know they were hanged and the moon they were about to die you know uh falcon i think so appeared and that's where he stopped the killing that's where he spoke to gordon and uh, he told him about the nasty business that's going on in gotham and about how gotham gonna turn out to be this horrible place and you know we even know that uh, you know or we kind of learned that falcon and uh, gordon's father kind of met each other before they knew each other they had friendship together and uh, you know they were released but you know James Gordon didn't stop looking for the truth he wanted uh, the truth to be you know out there but he figured out that Fish Moon is covering up for Falcon and Falcon is covering up maybe for the real killer or something you know there's something going on uh, Gordon feels it but he doesn't want to tell uh, Bullock at the moment that's where Bullock kind of met him and told him uh, what's really going on you know he told him they want you in 
they want you into the team you know falcon fish money they want to trust you and that's where he brought up the penguin and he told him kill penguin and you're on the team you know i don't have to die and you will not you know uh, die either and even his girlfriend won't be in danger so that's where he took penguin and that's what he did you know i predicted that he would do it right away he didn't really shoot penguin he just you know shot fire through the air and he kind of pushed uh you know penguin into the water and of course penguin survived we see we saw actually the uh the worst side of penguin where he started the killing you know we saw how he's turning into this villain guy as well so um I think that was pretty much for the ending you know the ending he actually went to Bruce Wayne he told him that he didn't find the real killer uh, the killer that they killed was just framed and uh, you know he gonna start digging up for the real killer and he gonna stop whatever is happening in Gotham <coughs> 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 and of course we got an appearance from Alfred which was pretty fun as well you know uh, there was this sarcasm part where he uh, said to Gordon which I can't remember what he exactly said but you know they knew how to get uh, Alfred from the comics to the real life which was just amazing so I kind of really enjoyed the issue I mean the episode not the issue and uh, I just loved it you know great they knew how to capture Gotham they added these little things uh, the CGI things they added it they made it look like it's the real Gotham that we always see in the comic books uh, the uh, you know the dress codes everything was just amazing I really can't wait to see what's gonna happen next uh, I don't know what to expect from the next episode I really don't but I'm really uh, hoping for something really big from Gotham and I think it's gonna blow everyone's mind so if you didn't watch it go ahead and check it out I think you're gonna love it I'm gonna rate it again 9 out of 10 Thank you guys for watching my spoiler review. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully I didn't miss anything in the spoiler review. Uh, of course, pilots are always long and there's a lot of stuff you got to talk about. But, you know, the coming up episodes, I think we're going to be, you know, minimizing the length of the video. It won't be like 12 or 13 minutes. I think it's going to be lower than that. So thank you guys for watching. If you like what you see, please hit the like button. Let this video reach at least five likes or 10 likes. I would really appreciate it. Share it around. Subscribe if you are new to my channel. There will be every week a Gotham review talking about everything that's happening in the episodes and maybe my predictions. But right now I can't predict nothing. You know, it's just, I'm just clueless to what's going to happen. But there will be some kind of connection between Bruce Wayne and uh, Selena Kyle. I think so. That was her real name. Yeah, Catwoman. Anyway, uh, see you guys. Take care.